Let's try to raid a Libusdorf, and this patrol doesn't want to fight us. Ooh, an Antiope got a level up, and we got a Sunrise Rider, three riders, a Black Knight. Ooh, that guy looks beast. I think we'll give her another point of riding, and then we'll give her one more strength, and next level she can have eight power draw. Here, let's patrol. Oh, wow, I got headshot. And we got a bunch of prisoners. Wow. 28. Alright, so let's try to raid this village. Let's get some money from these guys too. 4 and 37 orbs. Alright, and we'll raid Libusdorf. And then after this, I think we can just get out of here. We raided it, and after this, we should have enough. Fine oil. Nothing too spectacular. Maybe we want to raid another village. Let's take this village out. Oh, they like us a lot though. Oh well. Fine gold ore and large bag of gold ore. And well-made velvet. Alright, that was good. I wish there was a better way to dispose of cattle in this mod because it's just way too annoying to slaughter five at a time. It just makes sense that you can't just sell them all to like the guild master when they're not dead. Like they have to be dead for some reason. Alright, we'll sell it all off. We're up to 70k now. So I think that was like 27k. We also need to hit up the tavern and sell off the prisoners for 2.3. We got a sunrise rider and four riders. All right, the mercenary contract is finally over. We're gonna become free of your bond. Oh, green's fighting over here. We really need to join them right now. No, no one cares about this guy. Give me mercenary quest. He wants Marcus. No, you're not getting Marcus. Taxes quest, we'll take that. We'll head over to wave shore and do the taxes quest. This is going really fast. We got 11K. All right, let's turn it back into him. And we got 2.2K for that. Here's the princess. Come on, baby, give me that quest. Let me join you. Nope, it's not the quest. We have negative or nine relation with her. Yeah, we need to fix our honor problem. No one wants us to join them. So in Prisno, apparently there's a really easy way to raise your honor. We go to the castle. I don't think we can. We don't have enough renown. Crap. Okay, well in the meantime, we'll tank our honor even further and raid some more villages. And we'll raid this caravan. Give me money. 446. Oh crap. I forgot we're not at war with them right now. Let's wait for the feast to get over with, I guess. Nassian raiders from the clan of Vikings. They have 238 prisoners. Let's take them out. They have no horsemen. This should be pretty easy. Oh, they're tanky. They're like two-handed beasts. I think one headshot probably will do it. Nope. Um, not even a headshot and a body shot it takes more than that. All right, cavalry archers do work, and we gotta keep them off of the bowmen. We lost a rider and two crappy units, and we got a lot of units to choose from. Let's take this martial female assassin, we'll take her, and then we'll take all the prisoners we can. And I think we should get some nice equipment too. 26 items. Whoa, that thing is beastly. I think it's high swing, but it's really short. It can crush two blocks and shields though, but like my god is it short. And the beast is over finally. Perfect timing. There should be a priest here. All right, so we talk to this priest, and we do the second option, and we donate 300, and we gain honor. I believe we gain two. Let's do that over and over. All right, so we dumped like 14k on that. We're up to 10 honor rating. Ooh, I think we'll just keep doing that for a while. And we'll raise relation with a lot of the lords too. So we're down to 13k. I think we dumped like 60k on that. But now we're at 298 honor rating. There's a ransom broker. It's all the prisoners. For 14k, we had 32 of them. And this ale looks pretty cheap. They have a lot of it. We can sell the ale for 340. So that was a pretty good profit. See the princess... The princess really likes us now. Ooh, she likes an honorable man. In order to marry her though, we need more renown than her and she has like above 1k renown and we have like zero. This guy wants to do a dungeon break quest. Let's just try to do that for fun. I don't know what happens if we fail it, but hopefully nothing bad. All right, we're at Leuven and it's a town. They do like us, so let's try to buy an enterprise here first. Weaver and Direct was the most by far, so we'll buy it. I think after we try to do this quest, we're gonna lose a relation with them for sure. Oh, here we go, I found the guy, I think. Prison guard, so we're just gonna have to light him up. Give me the keys now. Uh, we've got the keys, and here's Duke Narglad. I need you to grab a weapon and help me. Two guys only. They have shields though. You gotta help me, bro. Oh, oh. It's not really helping that well. I can't really see anything with this flame bringer. Help me, dude. If I get knocked out, it's really bad for both of us. Good, good, good. I'm almost dead. Ooh, the Duke is actually a beast. I don't know where their units are. I don't know where we have to go, but we're just gonna keep going this way. This guy's charging with his shield. We gotta try to break his shield before he gets close. Break it, come on. Break. Yeah. Oh my god, we suck. Alright, cool. We got him. Here's another guy. There we go. Apparently I'm not doing much damage to him. Oh, this is bad. Oh, okay, few. And he's out of arrows, I think. All right, we got him. And we got relation. We got 
seven relation with Duke Nargled. And I guess we're not at war with Red right now. I guess there's like, well, yeah, it was kind of dishonorable for us to keep him in the dungeons. I got level up from trainer and we can get some more leadership. And I'm thinking we probably start mashing points into charisma. I'll hold off on getting more strength until I know there's a higher power draw requirement bow. And there's 38 mercenary stalkers at this grain village. So we'll take them out. It's good to get relation with these villages because I want to hire greens units. And when you have a higher relation with the village, you can end up hiring more units. These mercenary stalkers aren't nearly as good as our units, I think, but they are bowmen. So, ooh, they took a rider out. Okay, we'll have everyone just charge, I guess. All right, we got relation with the village, and we will refuse, and we'll gain up to 12 relation now. We only got two hunters, but I think we could get more potentially. There's 48 prisoner pilgrims here, and we can actually hire all of them. We'll let them join, and we'll see which ones will survive. It puts our party size above 80 now, too. A rider upgraded to a knight. That's pretty crazy, because they require a lot of XP. I think that's like 600,000 experience. I don't know exactly how that works. The pilgrims all upgraded to a monk in one day. And here's the war party that we need for a quest. Let's take these guys out. All right, the quest done. Female assassin, can't hire. All right, so we're at Qualitaka, and that's the next part of the quest. Although, of course, there's a feast. Why is it always there's a feast going on when I need to go to the castle? A group of nobles went rogue and took residence in one of the nearby villages. Oh, Agnar Stormcloak. This guy's a mercenary we need. Oh, we can't hire him, though. I think we'll dump some of these monks. He's got two in surgery, first aid, and three in wound treatment, but he's level one and he has pretty good stats. I mean, pretty much turn him into anything. He definitely won't be the healer though, because holy crap, speaking of which, this guy has only two skill ups. That gives us nine surgery, and we'll go nine in wound treatment. While we're waiting for the feast to be over with, we're going to go to Tulu, and what the heck is that? Oh, Aruo Beast Slayer. They only have 40 though. They have leaf bombs. It looks like they're hitting themselves with them. Holy crap. These guys are not messing around. Ow. Holy crap, they have big AOE on those things. Oh my god, my mount is crippled. We lost the Black Knight. Rip. Got some items. I think there's piercing damage. That's kind of cool. Some leaf bombs. Dietrich has 300 throwing skill and 7 power throw. Let's give him some of these leaf bombs. A band of rogue nobles and their mercenaries took residence in this village. What the hell is this spawn? What is this garbage? Do we continue it? That has got to be the dumbest thing I've ever witnessed in my life. We're actually losing units because the hurler, like they're throwing these bombs on us. The village is free from them. Yeah, there was definitely some errors there. We got some fat loot though, it looks like. Some more leaf bombs too. Got a lot of leaf bombs. We got 10 relation with the village. All right, we'll sell off the prisoners for 1200. Turn the quest in for 2000 orms and 4k XP. Not really worth. Let's give Dietrich a bunch of these leaf bombs. We'll sell out the rest of this stuff for 6.2k. All right, so while we're waiting for the tournament to be done at Qualtaka, we're doing quests for the guild master so I can build an enterprise down here. We'll take out these bandits. We lost a rider and a sniper versus bandits. I could buy land now. Weaver and Dyers would be 2,500. I don't have 24k though. So apparently we didn't even need to go into the castle. We actually need to go into the arena. I want to challenge the dueler to a duel. Oh wait, I should have ordered my party better. We lose renown for this if we fail this. Yeah, I think we should have definitely done this better. We lost five renown. Okay, we got to put our best units at the top. Like, they got to be really good in melee combat. Female assassin. Holy champion. Some of the giants might be good too. And then I just had this guy, the captain, the guard. This guy's a beast, I bet. Okay, I think we win it this time. Taking out a lot of them. It's like two left. There we go. All right, now we got to beat the dueler, I believe. A 1v1. Oh, he's Shukin. Hey, you got him. I suppose you have more right than I to train these men, take care of them. I also feel obliged to give you something else, for I can no longer hold it in good conscience. So if I do the second option, I think I get honor too. Yeah, I gain honor and the rapier. And we got the strange rapier. It's extremely fast. It doesn't have much reach, but it does 50 piercing damage, and it can crush through blocks. I think I'm going to give the rapier to Eric Canis. He's got 470 proficiencies in one-hander, eight power strike, and he's going to be really tanky. His armor's really good. And being that he's a horse archer, after he's out of arrows, and he'll run in with the rapier. I kind of like that he's not going to be the first to charge in, and he might come in clutch and Thrak got a level up we're gonna give him 13 power strike i was gonna give it to him but he's the only one that can use a flame bringer and i feel like someone should use it fossil has nine level ups i was considering giving him 30 charisma so i can max out his trade but that would only be two more points of trade if i put all these nine points in strength he can become a beastly horse archer and he can wear better gear or i can put seven in strength and two more in agility and that'll allow me to get his power draw to seven his webmaster to six and his horse archery to five and his riding to four and i got a bunch of points i can put into archery for him and now he's actually 
actually gonna be pretty useful, I think. But first I'll send him out for the right to rule quest. So after talking to like the third green lord, he finally gave us the mercenary contract. And so we got 1800 orms and now we're at war with Tolrania. And after searching far and wide on the internet, I could get no information on when you can pick up the mercenary contract, but I'm almost certain it has something to do with your renown level. And I believe it needs to be around at least 40 because when I dropped my renown to zero, no one would give me the mercenary contract. But after I did the rapier quest, I got it back up a bit and I was able to get it almost immediately. And this confirms to me that it has nothing to do with honor rating. Your friends, two lords, sending you some gifts and financial aid worth 855 orms total as a sign of their gratitude for your friendship and everything you've done for them. I wonder what is considered friends. We have four lords above 30 relation, but only two of them sent us gifts. So we turned the prison break quests and we got 1500 orms and 2k XP. Red looks like they're pretty preoccupied with green. And so in the meantime, I'm going to start raiding their villages. It's going to tank my renown back to zero, but we're only at 40. It's not a big deal, which we will be doing in the next episode. And once we've raided enough, we'll start grinding our renown back to a respectable level so that we can finally start our kingdom. I'll see you guys then. Peace out.